Uh, it's withdrawn. Andrew George. Uh, question six, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Government is committed to cutting unnecessary regulatory burdens on business wherever possible, including on the bus industry. However, this must be balanced with the passenger's right to a safe and reliable service. George. But can the Minister do nothing about uh, the daily um, occurrence of what can only be described as a sketch from a carry-on movie in, uh, across rural areas in which, in which passengers are forced to get off buses to get back on buses and to repurchase tickets every 30 miles because the government failed to secure a common sense derogation for, uh, from EU Regulation 561-2006 which sets maximum targets on, on, on bus drivers. Doesn't this simply play into the hands of those certifiable ranters and other political parties who quite rightly on this occasion decry the rather bizarre micromanagement which these kind of regulations present? Well, I, I, I should remind the, um, the Honourable Gentleman that the, the new EU rules do not limit the length of a bus route. They introduce improved safety requirements around the length of a driver's working week to ensure proper weekly rest periods. And I think that that is something that we should actually support, frankly, because there are huge safety implications about it. Um, however, I do know there have been uh, concerns uh, expressed uh, about some of the way that this is um, operating, and that's why uh, my honourable friend, uh, the member for Poplar and Canning Town, met with representations of the Confederation of passenger transport, which is the trade association, as he knows, for the bus and, bus and coach industry, to explore the um, industry's concerns and to look at possible solutions, however, I should say, within the constraints of the uh, EU drivers' hours regulation. So there are safety issues here. I, I know that there are certain problems in terms of interpreting how they should be applied practically, and we are looking at those. 